All right. Good morning, Vibe Tribe. Happy Friday. So Steffi was here on Wednesday. I hope everyone learned a great deal at hair. Anyone want it? Um, a great deal from her. I know she did a question and answer like Q and A. Um, that as always, it's Steffi guys. Like if you can't learn anything from anyone, it's going to be Steffi or any of the amazing leaders we have. So this month of December, happy December 2nd, um, we are focusing on mindset. So just to remind everybody, December 23rd to December 26th, we will not have Vibe Tribe on those two days as for the Vibe Tribe leaders are in need of some Christmas break. Like we all have some family to visit and whatnot. So we're going to take a few days off, but we will be back on the 28th of December. I'm with dream boards. And then the 30th is planning a new year. And how is everyone, what are we doing to get ready? Um, the rest of this month, we have a lot of some, some pretty amazing leaders coming in. We have a lot of people jumping in to help, a lot of people that want to share stuff about mindset. So just keep that in mind because the topic of this month is mindset. So that's just a quick little announcement for first thing this morning. Um, we're going to start right I'm not awake guys I'm sorry like I my capsules are still in transit um we're going to start with our morning gratitude like we do every day Monday to Friday Monday, Sunday to Sunday basically you're not going to miss a day of your gratitude so something you are grateful for in the last 24 to 36 hours um that you want to share on Wednesday, we had blood work for baby, and then we also did get to hear baby's heartbeat. So that was a very big blessing and an excitement in our lives with baby coming in May. Um, so keep that in mind, you guys, it's little things, right? Maybe it's hearing your child's heartbeat. Maybe it's talking to somebody about not thrive. Maybe it's reconnecting with your sister. Maybe it's reconnecting with somebody who you've lost contact with. Um, so keep that in mind. Is there anything anyone is grateful for that they want to share? Anything? Sky, what are you grateful for today? Oh, today, I am grateful that I woke up not sick because, and every day in the last six weeks that I haven't been sick, I'm grateful for because I'm over it. <laughs> like I haven't been sick in two years. Thank you, Thrive. That's all I can contribute it to because once I started thriving, I stopped getting sick. Like, and, but then for some reason, this fall has just been so harsh with like influenza, RSV. Like I even got COVID the first time. So uh, like, apparently I'm not immune to it, I guess. So I'm just grateful to be feeling good, to be here today <laughs> and not yeah. be sick. Yes, for sure. Um, everyone's health is amazing. Like mine right now is not the best and I can't take anything because it'll harm baby. So I'm pushing through guys. I'm pushing through. Um, so with gratitude out of our way, let's jump into Vibe Tribe News. So Vibe Tribe News, uh, our fall bonus did end on Wednesday. You know, if you didn't hit it, but you were pushing for it, I'm proud of you. If you weren't pushing for it and you didn't want it, we're proud of you no matter what. Um, I know I did not hit it. I was three sales away from hitting it. I was pretty bummed out, but that's okay because there's going to be more bonuses, guys. There's always more bonuses and more things. Yesterday, Double Triple Fast Start was announced. Um, let me pull it up one second because y'all know I don't go to memory. There we go. Uh, okay, it said you asked, we listened. Upgrade packages have been revised, balanced, and to support maximum sampling. Uh, and then it went into some information about how they updated the packages. Let's get started with double, triple, fast start December 1st to the 9th at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Double or triple first level fast starts. Um, do a thousand QV 
to upgrade packets for double fast start, triple fast start is 1400 QV. Um, again, if you if you have a, don't have a working team, that's okay, because you can use these as starter bonuses too. Uh, we're gonna touch on that this morning as well. Uh, what else is going on? Christmas is around the corner, so I don't know who hasn't started their Christmas shopping. Totally guilty over here, guys. I have not started my Christmas shopping. I normally have it done by now, um, but sorry, baby kind of took us all by surprise and life is a little chaotic. Let's be real. Um, so have not started my Christmas shopping. Uh, there's a lot to go. I know like there's a lot of Christmas parades coming up in the month. I know like where we are here in Canada, there's like Christmas parade every weekend. Um, so make sure you guys are getting out and thriving out loud, especially this time of year. And my best suggestion would be to wear your DFT on your hand. Like if you can wear a basic DFT, like one of these guys on your hand, go for it. Um, it will definitely get people people's interest and you're not standing there screaming at your kids. That's definitely gonna get some interest. So let's start talking about double, triple fast start. Guy, do you want to take over for a sec so I can get some water? Okay, so double, triple, fast start. Um, I'm going to pull up my notes here just so that I don't get anything wrong. Um, so uh, let's see here this time because it's always a little bit different every time around. So uh, this time around with double, triple, fast starts. Um, so normally on our promoter packs, you know, we've got the 200, 400, 800, and we always make like a fast start bonus off of those. So when one of our promoters, like an existing or a new one goes in and gets a $200 pack, we make $30 of a infinity fast start bonus. A $400 pack is $80 and an $800 pack is $140. So with this promo, you can either double or triple that. Um, so like for a $200 pack, if you double fast start, you're going to make $60. And if you triple fast start, you're going to make a $90 bonus. So basically, um, you have to get like, it, it usually comes down to like three or four promoters. Um, they can be new or existing promoters that you already have. Um, you need to sell a thousand dollars worth of promoter packs. So um, to double your fast start bonus. So that's where you would make the $60 bonus. And if you sell 1400 in QB, that's where you're going to unlock the triple fast start. So you know, and just to kind of like give you guys some numbers, I'm not going to like break it down too much, but you know, off a $800 pack, I had said that we normally make $140 um, with triple fast starting, we would make $420. So um, that's basically breaking them down for you and how you would earn it. Um, maybe Melanie, you want to take over on some ways that you could like run this or, you know, offer it to your team. That kind of stuff. For sure. Oh, okay. I'm good. Um, so minus the hall in my mouth, guys, excuse that, like still getting over this cold thing that I'm dealing with. Um, what I did to my team is anyone who's an existing promoter already, I've reached out and I said, Hold on, let me find the verbiage. Because that's going to be a question I get. What's your verbiage? Um, good morning, team. I'm giving back my fast starts back to help every all of us qualify for double qualification. This means $30 for back for every $200 kit, $60 back for every $400 kit, $180 back for every $800 kit. Now, that is for my existing promoters. Again, I have the opportunity to do that as a 12K leader. Not everybody has that opportunity. So another way um, that I've broken this down for my team, and Sky knows this because we talk about everything. 
I told them if you pre-sell eight to 10 three-day samples, so for $20 a sample, you're getting, they're going to get the three, two packs of capsules, two shakes, and three patches, okay? Then you're going to put your own $130 into it to get the $400 kit or whatever kit you want to get, okay? So we're going to break it down like that. So you're selling half of your kit and you're keeping half of your kit. So that is what we've done on our team. Now, again, not everybody does that. Not everybody wants to do that. I have gotten double trip, a double qualified by just getting $200 kits out the door, guys. So that is why this is so important, especially this time of year. And for them to start a month, for Lavelle to start a month with two, like double, triple faster only means that this month is going to be huge. Don't forget that on December 8th, the pre-launch at King is happening. So keep that in mind. Um, so yeah, that's how I'm running it with my team and my team's running it. Um, now, with that being said, let's jump into our topic of getting ready for the mindset month. So obviously mindset is something that is very big in our businesses because a lot of the time we, a lot of people here know a lot a lot of people hear the word no and they think no as in like never guys no just means not right now okay um that is something that like a lot of people hear and they instantly get shut down well no just means they're not ready for it yet are you sharing it enough so let's talk about mindset in this set sense i can english today Sorry, my husband's texting me. Um, in the sense that like, you've heard the word no. Okay. I challenge myself to hear the word no 10 times a day. 10 times a day, I want to hear the word no. Why? Because if I'm hearing 10 no's, I'm going to hear two yeses. Okay. So half the people that I'm talking to one of them is going to say yes. And then when I hear five more no's, I know, the, I know that the next couple of people, I'm going to hear a yes. Now, it has taken me two and a half years in this business to admit that and be able to realize that. Okay. And that has been working on my mindset. That is listening to my podcast every single day to make sure that I'm able to pour into my people, to pour into you guys, to pour into my team. So. Keep that in mind. Um, you're going to hear from some amazing people who this month, Addie Maloney, um, Melissa Toomey, Kayla, you're talking on the 19th. Autumn, if you can make any Zoom, you guys, I highly, highly suggest you take the 12th. You want to make the 12th because the 12th, this girl came in, didn't have any clue what she was doing and went 12K by pre-selling minis, okay? She's gonna talk about that as well as her mindset and how she did it. So just keep that in mind, you guys. We wanna make sure that like you guys are hearing from people who are, were and are at the bottom. Um, mindset, mindset, mindset. I'm sorry, I'm scrolling through my notes, guys. One second. If you do not have an app, like if you are a podcast listener and you do not have the Mindset app, I highly, highly suggest you get it. Um, it is a free app on Google Play and it, uh, Apple. It just, it said Mindset and then you can type, pick the top five topics you want to hear. Um, and they're like five to 10 minute um, podcasts, you guys, that like literally you can listen to in the car. Um, what else? So we wake up, I wake up. So first thing I do in my morning, I wake up, I put on my podcast. I do not look at my messages because I know the moment that I look at those messages, I'm going to go down that squirrel hole. I don't got time. 
at 5.30 in the morning to look at messages. So I have trained my mind to not look at my messages until at least 6.30 in the morning, unless it's Sky. Then it's Sky, it's a different conversation because it's normally her losing, her one of us losing our minds. So what is your morning routine to help better your mindset? Gratitude, journaling, listening to your podcast when you're driving the kids to school or whatever. But working on you first is going to turn your day into a positive. You all see those TikToks and reels about positive mindset or affirmations. Use them. Physically use them because that is going to change your mindset for the better. Any of that one got questions? I like to say something if I can. Mm-hmm. You know how I love my mindset. <laughs> you know how I love my positivity. <laughs> so um, I'm going to tell you a quick story and see if I can get my kids or my, my boyfriend's taking my youngest son out to the woods for a boil up if anyone knows what that is. <laughs> so <laughs> so um, a couple of years ago, pre-thrive I um, really struggled a lot with my like mental health Uh, my mindset was very much limited I was a very negative person I was guilty for putting all my emotions on my social media negative 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 Um, and I think that that's pretty common for a lot of people hey because you have this this um, area that you can put this in all right up here yeah, this area that's available to you, you can just spew out whatever you're feeling, bam, into the world, right? And in some weird way, you think that you're being heard. But this is where your mindset kind of comes into play for not even just this business, but like in general, life in general, right? So when you're on, you know, you're emotionally like posting onto your wall, you're really just spreading negativity, right? And that is not the vibe that you want to give to your potentials to your friends right because if you ever hear the term negativity spreads negativity positivity spreads positivity you know what i mean so what you're putting out there getting back and all that fun stuff cliche stuff so a couple years ago i uh, started doing this trick to kind of train my my brain to be less negative because i was just tired of getting in my own way and everything in life right with my my brain so yeah so I, uh, sorry guys, we have goldfish at 49 So what I started doing, and this might not work for everybody, but it's definitely something that could be, you know, tried is whenever I get an urge to post like a negative feeling, maybe I was going through something and I wanted to post something like really passive, aggressive and negative, you know, on there, I would take how I was feeling, whatever it was like defeat, self, I don't know, self, anything that was like anger, disappointment, um frustration you know sadness whatever i was feeling and instead of posting how i was feeling in a negative light i would look for a quote right and this is kind of like where your affirmations are going to come into play i would look for a quote a quote that would combat that emotion that i was feeling so instead of kind of sucking up all that negativity from that emotion i would feel that emotion I would recognize that emotion and I would find a quote that would combat the crap out of that negative feeling. It was not an overnight fix. And I can guarantee you that I annoyed a lot of people with those inspirational quotes. But the way I look at it is if you're annoyed by an inspirational quote, you probably need to hear them more often. (laughs) So for me, that was what really began, I guess, before I even knew it, like subconsciously began my interest in the mindset training and and affirmations i am such a fan of affirmations and they could be so simple like i am capable of wonderful things i am capable of success i am loved it can literally be three words you could turn i am into one word it could be two words and it's still a powerful affirmation right so if you struggle with stuff like that it's trying to find the way to turn your limited mindset into a growth mindset where you're open to learning and growing and taking in more because once you learn to train 
that your mindset to be more positive, to be more open to accepting the positivity, you will see your business flourish. And that may seem kind of silly, but it's true. It all begins with what you're thinking, right? Because what you think is what you believe. So if you're doubting yourself constantly and you're not doing something to try to fight that combat, you know, or training your brain to think otherwise, you're going to set yourself up to, to just never succeed. You're going to stay where you're to and you're not going to be able to grow. So that's where people, you'll hear a lot of people talk about mindset, but until you're open to, to that, to the training of your mindset, because you know what? We all have failures. We all have rejection. We're not in this industry where it's going to be a constant 100% across the board. People are going to say no. People are going to say no a lot. You're going to get a lot of no's, but you know what? When you get those yeses, it doesn't even matter if you've got a thousand no's to that one yes, because that one yes could not only be an amazing customer, it could be your superstar freaking unicorn. That's going to go right to 200K. You don't know the potential that you're going to get. So when you're dwelling on the rejections and the no's, you may be selling yourself short and overlooking that big unicorn yes right? So that's where we talk about mindset and stuff. That's why it's so freaking important because you got to train that brain to really believe in yourself. And it might take, might take days. It might take weeks. It could even take months, but if you're not getting those no's, how are you going to build that thick skin so you can be confident enough to go towards that person who you might not think will buy it, but ends up being your unicorn superstar promoter, right? So that's just a little trick that I did subconsciously pre-thrive, right? It wasn't a thrive thing. It was just something that I was tired of being so negative and I was tired of feeling that negativity all the time. Something had to change. And like I said, maybe I annoyed the shit out of people because I was posting all this stuff, but oh, well, that means they needed it too. (laughs) Yeah. And that, that's true. Um, the inspirational quotes, that kind of thing that gets you going, like share, oh, guys, I'm sorry, I sound like death, um, that, sh- that show you and share with others who you are, who you want to be. So l- the other day, last week, sometime we were talking about hashtags. Lydia Kyle, I believe it was. Um, so who uses the hashtag boss babe, boss mom, all of those. I follow one on Instagram that is actually very inspirational because every day the hashtag posts a new uh, inspirational post. And it's like, how many people can relate to this? Let me see if I can find one today. Today's. Uh, It's married life. Uh, Sorry, guys. Um, five, no, that ain't one. I've got so many things on my Instagram right now. To whoever reads this, I hope something good happens to you today. Those kind of posts, like how often are we doing those? Like how often are we relating to that kind of stuff that we need to be relating to? Um, you know, it's also being vulnerable on, on how you are feeling. So obviously still waiting for my capsules because God love Canada Post. Ugh, I'm losing my mind, guys. It's, it's been a week. I, I literally have been waiting for seven days for my capsules to come in. Um, so God love Canada Post. But I, you know, I feel like I'm tired all the time because I don't have my Thrive. Before I got it approved by the doctor to go back on my Thrive when we found out I was pregnant. It was a decision we made as my husband and I that I would stop thriving until we got it 100% approved Um, just because we didn't want to harm baby in any way. But that being said, I still was working on my mindset. I was still growing my network. Um, But working on your mindset is something that you physically and consciously have to do you can't just stay in that, oh, nobody wants Thrive, nobody woes me, Eeyore phase of life. You have to physically and mentally want out of Eeyore's life to get back to you. Okay. Yes, the house is probably a mess because you have four kids. 
yes, the house needs to be vacuumed. Yes, you know, yes, you haven't had a shower in two days. But you know what? If you are working on your mindset and you're like, you know what? This is how it is. And I'm feeling better about A, B, and C. That is where your mindset is going to change. You know, I could, we could have canceled today because I was sick. But I said, no, Sky, let's do it. We got this. We're going to push through it. People need to be reminded that mindset is so important. Maybe you like books. Maybe you like reading and you have an extra 20 minutes a day and I'm jealous. So you have that 20 minutes to read a book a day. Okay. Maybe it's, I don't have time to read, but I want to work on my mindset. Is there podcasts I can listen to? I can share a thousand Spotify playlists on Spotify for free that you can use. Um, you just need to know where you want to work on, what part of your mindset you want to work on. Maybe it's positive affirmations like Kayla. Maybe it's positive, uh, what is it called? Lord, words. Maybe it's mental clarity you want to work on where you're like, I don't want to feel so negative anymore. Maybe it is something like um, Sky and it's Dr. Phil all the time. Dr. Phil has everything according to Sky. And I know he does. Okay. Like y'all got to understand that that's where Sky and I butt heads sometimes. Um, and Maybe it's working on your marriage or your relationship you're currently in. There is a podcast or something out there to help you with all of it. It might just be minute or be like, you might have friends go, oh, that's not going to work. You have to try it for you. What works for me does not, <laughs> does not work for Sky. Dr. Phil does not work for me, but Dr. Phil does work for Sky. Okay. Um, what yeah, exactly find one of your non-strengths on a podcast while you're doing laundry while you're driving while you're vacuuming put your airpods in and if you're lucky like I am and you have hearing aids that connect to your phone and you don't need airpods go for it um but you have to put a minimum of 20 minutes a day into this you guys I'm not even getting, I'm not going into this argument with you, Sky. This is- hey, this, I felt this. like it should be noted because like, you know, the show, uh, I'm sure a lot of people are like, how the hell is that self-development? <laughs> but like, we're not talking about the show, okay? <laughs> he has podcasts, you guys. He really does. She's not joking. She has sent me a thousand of them and I'm like, I'm not doing it. I can't stand his voice. And maybe- Maybe you're like me and you can't listen to self-development from a, a male voice. You have to find what works for you. And 20 minutes a day is where you start. Listen to a 10-minute podcast in the morning and a 10-minute podcast at night. Maybe that 10-minute morning podcast is affirmations. Maybe that 10-minute podcast at night is affirmations. But at the end of the day, you need to be doing your 20 minutes minimum a day. I can tell you that by not doing my self-development is where I got stuck and not working on my mindset is where I got stuck last year, like this past year. And it has taken a lot to get back to where I need it to be. So that is why mindset and this is so important, you guys, finding the podcast that speak with you, that talk to you about what needs to be spoken about. Um, is there any questions before we stop the recording? <clears throat> Ugh, I hate this cold. Anybody want a cold? I'm done. Pregnancy brain, I don't like. I'm okay with the pregnancy brain, but I'm over the cold factors of this.
Mel, uh, Melinda, you listen to Mel Robinson. I was listening to her for a while as well. Um, again, I found the app Mindset and guys, it's changed everything. It's a free app. Um, you just type in Mindset in like your app store and it'll pop up. And there's like a million different topics you can choose. And every, I think it's every three months you get to update your topics and take one off your list. All right, so there's no questions. Um, those that are catching the live, hang out for a few minutes. Those that are catching the replay, we will see you back here Monday with Melanie Ray Rafford at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, she's coming in hot with some mindset and how to work it. All right, so those that are here live, stick around for a few minutes. We'll unmute and hang out.